Now I'm gonna do a real ride today. Absolutely. Supposed to get hotter than hell, so. Supposed to be even hotter tomorrow, so I figured I'd do my ride today and then maybe go sit and watch the festivities at the boat launch tomorrow. Yep. That's the plan. Subject to change, of course. Yeah, if you I don't know if you can see in the mirror or not, but maybe even on the 360 I can get a view. Yeah, I got uh, got some of my camping camping gear strapped on and heading up to Bebby and Bumpas and drop it off so they can bring it all the way up to the campground and then. That'll give me more room for the rest of my stuff. May still switch and take the truck up, but I really don't want to. I mean, damn, I got a brand new spider to ride. Got myself a new rain suit with gloves and boots and everything so if it does rain I won't get quite so soppy as I did last year yes indeed so the plans coming together I just gotta hit the liquor store buy some provisions don't you know Ain't camping unless you're killing off a few brain cells. Yeah, nice cool morning, it says 72. I think this spider's a lot more accurate than my others have been as far as temperature goes. And I can tell you that the clock's a lot more accurate. That doesn't seem to speed up. Seems to hold U.S. time and not speed up to Canada time like the others used to. Yeah, the other two used to just keep going ahead. Get about 20, 30 minutes ahead. A little confusing. You sit down and you think you need to rush and you show up and you're 20 minutes early. <laughs> As you know, with the social constructs, that's not always a good thing. It's predominantly just going to be a big ride today. Don't have a lot to talk about. If I said anything about politics, I'd piss some people off. So we'll avoid those discussions. Yes, we will. Yeah, what a beautiful morning, though. Yeah, it's a little cool on my arms, but I can deal with it. So the basic plan, as it were, is scurry on up to Littleton, drop my cargo off at Bebby and Bumpa's, then run over to Bethlehem, because they're over at Maplewood Country Club for a big uh, Sully Cat event. Pretty short Sully Cat this weekend. So the whole gang will be out there, but they all have a shotgun start at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, get to go over and spend a couple hours with the crew and have a good time. And then once they head out to the golf course, I'll head out of the parking lot and turn left and head down through Crawford Notch. And I'm thinking I'll probably end up hanging right and going up to the Kankamangus and Kankamagus. Yeah, is the way you're supposed to say it. It's not Kankamagus, it's not Kankamangus, which so many report it, uh, pronounce it. Kankamagus. But, then right down, come home and. 
well, I'll probably be home by 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. All depends on how many times I stop and enjoy the scenery. Put me at Bebby and Bubba's by 10. Go right out and take your time. So if you're going to do it, do it! So with all that being said, I'm just going to turn up the music and enjoy some riding on Josie here. And if it hasn't made it into any of my videos, I'm absolutely loving Josie. She handles so much better than Sadie did. Almost getting used to the joystick and running all the controls. That's the... One big improvement is down here. You get that little keypad right there and it's one button push to change from radio to my MP3 player. It's still kind of a pain in the ass to change radio stations. But I usually just have the getting used to taking off and having the radio playing and if the station fades out or excuse me I get sick of commercials hit the button and I'm listening to my mp3s so yep sit back and enjoy the ride Oops.
Step one done. Cargo delivered to Bebby and Bumpas. Now we'll head over and catch up with the gang for a couple hours. What an absolutely beautiful day for a ride.